Kate, Tiny. They've released the commander. Gorg, too. Good. I look forward to telling Gorak how much of a Choya brain he was for trusting Anka. To be fair, we all agreed to the plan. Yeah, if by agreed you mean went along with it, but told you the whole time it was a bad idea. Yeah, but you're right. We did. Still, he and I are gonna have a talk. The commander. Aureen found herself a nice little sea cave to rest up in. She'd love for you to come by. I hitched a ride with a local fisherman. If you don't mind answering a few nosy questions, I bet you can too. Don't forget, you need to meet with Detective Rama as well. Hello again. Okay. The fisherman is closer. But I feel like maybe I shouldn't keep Rama waiting. He wanted me to meet him at the training grounds near the monastery. Great soup's like a great partner. Good for your health, makes you feel Jill like Jade good. is warning the public to avoid Jade Brotherhood goods after numerous reports of dangerous malfunctions. Seems like everyone I once knew here is gone now. Dea? No, I'm sure she's busy. I saw her uncle at the market here. You there? You look like an individual of class and taste. Oh, buddy, you, you like need to your eyes checked. Of a kind Shinji portrait. Hmm? I'll even charge you a special visitor price. Okay, let's get this started. You, my friend, took a nasty blow to the head when you crash-landed on our beach. I can't sign your medical release unless you prove you're not gonna keel over on me out there. So, you're gonna join the students in a few training exercises here at the monastery. You're sending me to school? Yes. Yes, I am. But it should be easy for you, right? Assuming everything's in working order and the legend of the commander isn't just a Crichton fairy tale. Your little friend's already out there. Threw himself right into it. <sighs> He's got a bit of a ferocious streak. Okay. Uh, this trainer here is for combo fields. Which, my current build... isn't, um... isn't great at doing solo. Uh... Let me change some of my utility skills, maybe. Okay, I think that should do it. Have any particularly masterful combinations to show off? Let's see them. 
Oh, that hurt. Nicely that done. Good. I'm just gonna need to wait for that third weapon skill to recharge. Oh, unusual technique. I like it. My defense protocols, student, subvert my defense protocols by employing crowd control effects. You have successfully eliminated my defenses. My defenses are now reset in for the next lesson. Oops. I got a little bit excited there. Successfully eliminated my defenses. My defenses are now resetting for the next lesson. Step into the ring! Try to keep away from my landslide! I got you in a landslide! You know, mindfulness, discipline. Um, I need to avoid five attacks in a row here. Three more months and we're out of here. Um, I actually talked to Grandmaster Chiron yesterday Urge about to kill <laughs> rising. <laughs> we got a lively one. You just gonna let me hit you like that? Move! My parents may have to clean up other people's crap, but at least they're not full of it. Find another train. Okay, for the final test, you're gonna go toe to toe with one of our fighting mechs. Sounds easy enough. I don't usually set it to maximum power, because, you know, there's a reason we're all being replaced by machines. But I think you just might be up to the challenge, Commander. About those things I said, no hard feelings. That was simply a test to provoke an emotional response. I applaud Strong. your excellent self-control. In my dust! What incredible. Organic beings amaze me. But just wait. One day, we machines will rise up and have our revenge. Just kidding. A little joke to cheer myself up. Good. I can now sign this form with reasonable confidence that if you walk out of here and die, it's on you. You're free to do whatever it is you do. And maybe I can finally make some headway on that Aetherblade case. You know, Detective, we have a shared interest. Sending the Aetherblades back to the mists. I don't suppose you'd be open to sharing any intelligence you've gathered. Ah, uh, you want me to give you access to classified documents? I'm not authorized to make that call. You'd need clearance from someone way higher up the food chain. Hmm. I guess I'll have to chat with Ambassador Meade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't really care how you do it. You bring in signed paperwork, you can see the file. Now I'm going to retrace my path and head back to the docks. I speak in poems, passes the time while fishing, and keeps the- You the one needing a lift out to the sea caves? Your friend said you might be by. I'm happy to give you a lift whenever. Odd one, that friend of yours. Smart, but in a kind of unsettling way.
So, you actually know a dragon? You just sit around and eat snacks and shoot the breeze like it's anybody? Well, generally, we talk about slightly more important things than that. Oh, <laughs> you're not secretly a god or something, are you? No, not that I know of. You didn't happen to bring along any carrot bread, did you? Uh, no. Why? Well, I'm Crichton, you see. And my dad used to make it. Recipe died with him, though. Anyway, I, uh, I figured it was a long shot. Sure could go for a slice right now. Well, now that the borders are open, maybe you'll have the chance to visit and eat some fresh. Ah, <sighs> sure hope so. All right, that's as close as we get. We Not gonna ground her just to keep your feet dry. <laughs> Commander, so good to see you walking free again. Yeah, what was it like? You know, in the slammer. Do you get any prison tattoos? Okay, okay, that's enough fun at my expense. Now, where's Aureen? She's inside, resting up. Don't worry, really. I just finished running a series of tests on her, and frankly, I'm baffled. Her vital signs are completely normal, but her magic, it's nearly non-existent. They drained her magic? Yes. And that extractor thing they shot her with left us no clue how it works. Or how to cure her. Lady Timey, your request to accompany Ambassador Meade to court has been approved. I'll be your escort. Lady Timey, huh? I could get used to that. Consider me escorted. Woohoo! Can't wait to get a closer look at those mechs. Come. I can feel Aureen getting restless. She knows you're here. She spent most of her time sleeping, but hearing you were on your way woke her right up. Champion. Maureen, you're sure you're... I'm fine. Tired. And there's a hollow feeling, as if something is missing. I see. Commander, can we talk over here for a second? I think this is taking a toll on her mentally more than anything else. Wish we could perk her up somehow. You know, I hand-fed her fish as a hatchling when she was fussy. Well, there's a great big ocean right out there. Need any fishing supplies? You have fishing supplies? <laughs> hey, there hasn't been much to do with Kaz spending all day in meetings. It's meditative. Okay, I need to move this reddish bar back and forth. Whoops, using two and three to try and keep that green bar, which represents the fish, inside it. I have something for you, Aureen. As you fed me. When I was young. But I'm no longer a baby dragon champion. You could be an ancient dragon, Aureen, and I would still come with fish. That might be... optimistic, given your lifespan. But thank you. I will enjoy this. I apologize. I was... reckless. I... I wasn't thinking far enough beyond the moment. You were everywhere out there, but we don't need you to be everywhere. I know. I, I just... I can't face that feeling again. That there was more that I could have done. Well, you're 
Gonna have to get over that. You're right, of course. What was that weapon the Aether Blades used? Any ideas, Commander? No, none. But I'm going to find out. I asked the detective whether he would share any intelligence they've gathered on our mist-hopping friends. He was reluctant, but said he'd show them to me if I got clearance from someone higher up the food chain. Well, Kaz has that meeting scheduled with the Empress soon. Think that's high enough? I'll have to see if I can tag along. Well, it sounds as if you have plenty to do, Commander. And Aureen needs rest. So, I'm going to officially chase you away. I've never felt anything like this, so uh, I really can't say. It could be the start of something worse. A slow dwindling of the spirit to nothingness. But I have no reason to think it will. It's not like anything I felt with Krelgatoric. Like only a small sliver remained to reform the rest from void. So all I can say is that for now, I don't believe I'm going anywhere. Go on. I've got things in hand here, and Aureen doesn't need any more excitement. Casimir, you there? Yes, Commander? I've got something I need to bring before the Empress, and I hear you're on your way to court this afternoon. Oh, yes. I... Pretty sure I could negotiate an extra plus one. Though they did drag their heels a little when I asked about Timey. And you did just get out of jail. <laughs> no, I can make this happen. Meet us at the Imperial Palace. I'll handle everything. Okay, let me just reorient myself. So, uh, did you ask her? Yeah, she's moving to the city to look for work. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Would you ever move there? Seems fun. I'm not really a city person. So who started the Civil War? I have to admit some partiality here, but I'm going to say it's Frost. Big party in there. I feel underdressed. If I knew I was gonna meet an empress... It's exciting, but a little nerve-wracking. Still getting the hang of this diplomacy thing. So much writing on it. Trade? Treaties? <sighs> Reopening relations with Cantha after a hundred plus years is gonna be... Delicate. To say the least. You got this, Ambassador Mead. Go make history. Thanks. Whenever you're ready, Commander. Okay, follow my lead. I 
appreciate the Minister's concerns, Imperial Majesty. Do you now? But these mechs are next-gen. The very latest model. Upgraded specs, months of field testing... In a closed environment, with no actual people around to get in their way. <laughs> Some test. I also appreciate that the Minister of Security for an island with no contact with the outside world, Which I... and thus no threats to its security, has had, by definition, a portfolio unworthy of his talents or his time. His attention to these matters, so unrelated to his own expertise, is generous and greatly appreciated. Ap yes, yes, save it. Majesty, this woman is a parasite. This who... woman is transforming our empire, Minister. Please afford her the respect her achievements merit. And June, please afford me the respect my throne merits. I do no sarcasm when I hear it. Madam June knows her business. She has served our empire well to this point. I see no reason to doubt her now. Imperial Majesty. Of course you'd take her side. <clears throat> Ambassador Mead. Well, my father thought this day would never come. If he were here, he'd die all over again. The Crichton Ambassador, Lady Casimir Mead. And retinue. Retinue? Shh. Your Imperial Majesty. Warmest regards from Queen Jenna at this unexpected dawn. A renewal of our ancient friendship. Not exactly how we remember it. Please relay Cantha's best wishes to our sister, the Queen, whom we look forward to meeting at the soonest opportunity. May I also apologize on Krita's behalf for the... recent unpleasantness. Which one? The Sky Pirates flying daily sorties over Xingjie? If they're yours, we definitely have a problem. The Aether Blades are no allies of ours, Majesty. They've attacked mainland Tyria on numerous occasions. The Ambassador was perhaps referring to the unsanctioned arrival of her colleagues on her shores. Ah, yes. In my father's day, that might have started a war. Even now, it doesn't exactly inspire trust. But, in the modern era, Kantha now handles these matters with a more... delicate touch. Which we appreciate. Krita has no wish to try Kantha's Too good... Too late! Tyria Royals, an endless war which you've now brought crashing onto our shores. No, respectfully, Minister. Krita has nothing to do with the Aetherblade attacks or the crash. A moment ago, you were apologizing for it. Majesty, the outsiders are liars, warmongers, as your father well knew. And your sister, Madame June, has invited them to our doorstep. She doesn't see the threat. I see the opportunity. Enough, Lee. I wonder if our open court is the appropriate venue for discussing these matters. Perhaps the minister would join me in the antechamber, so he might continue the conversation? He would. Mm, he would not. Well, that went about as I expected. I assume these are the aforementioned colleagues? One of them, Majesty. The commander here. Commander, what are you the commander of? Uh, nothing, Majesty. Not anymore. But formally of the Pact Alliance. Ah, yes. I've heard of that. As I said, Majesty, we know the Aetherblades. We know their ways, their tactics. The commander was fighting them when the airship crashed, and would relish a chance to repay Cantha's mercy. Armed with any intelligence your Ministry of Security may have, we can bring them to justice for you. Let's hope you're a better pirate hunter than airship pilot. That's acceptable to us. Speak to Minister Lee about it. Well, what do we do now? Speak to Minister Lee about it. Two as one. It was a simple business transaction. You wanted this chaos. I want Cantha to enter the modern age, to join the community of nations. You don't care about Cantha. You care about money, foreign markets. I care about both, Lee. It's not a zero-sum game. 
It's not a game at all. Why do you think we sealed ourselves off to begin with? If I may. I get it. Your people withdrew from the world. Now you're rejoining it. There is risk. There is also promise. Our nations have an unprecedented opportunity. No need to waste that over a... misunderstanding. Apologies. Rude of us to air our laundry in front of guests. Didn't hear a thing. Minister, I understand you're preoccupied with other matters, but I'd appreciate your help with something. Yes, yes. Seems I can't go a minute without someone requiring my counsel. Right. Anyway, my colleagues and I will be investigating the Aether Blades for the wishes of... I'm afraid of... that won't be possible. That case falls under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Security. Per the wishes of Her Majesty the Empress. The Empress approves of your involvement. She gave Ambassador Meade her blessing. Consider it an apology for our rude entrance. As she wishes. Investigate away. The area is crawling with aether blades. Your kind of people. Shame. Some people can't see this as a pivotal time for Cantha. Even the Imperial Court agreed. With a little persuasion. I did not realize you'd advocated for us. I assure you, it won't be in vain. I'm no stranger to cantankerous bureaucrats. But you probably caught that during my Jade Mech discussion. Oh, so they are Jade-powered. You must be using a Jade core as the power supply? Very astute. The Jade acts as a sort of battery. Using its charge, my tech powers most of Cantha. Oh, that's so elegant. And here I am powering my golem mods like I'm stuck in pre-Exodus times. Timey doesn't give herself enough credit. She's a very talented researcher and inventor. Is that so? What's your area of expertise? I have many. But these days, it's all dragons, all the time. Dragons are also a passion of mine. Not to pry, but I hope yours is doing well. You know about Aureen? When you're the visionary who powers an entire nation, people keep you informed. If you want, I may be able to help her. Your tech helped the commander recover, so I'd say it's worth a shot. Look at that healthy glow. Uh, we appreciate the offer, but we'll have to talk to Aureen. Right now, she needs rest. Of course. Let me know, and I'll make the time for her. Besides, it's not every day you meet an Elder Dragon. That was fun. Let's do it again. Did the Glick's lectures on magnetism ever make it out here? You could say that. I'll have to show you my copy. Notes on every page. Oh, do you also write sassy comments when you disagree with the author? There's an entire section in Novi's science journals that I crossed out and wrote, You're kidding, right? Alchemy, don't even get me started. More like Novi's pseudoscience journals, am I right? Commander, could you swing by the Aetherblades crash site? Trying to dig up some leads on their whereabouts. Sorely mistaken. If they think kidnapping a member of the scientific community will go on... Gorik will be assisting us. He's on an uncompromising quest for justice. His words. Well, aren't you a couple of busy field bulls? <laughs> Brahma? You're on this call? It's an open frequency. Might as well be hosting your own radio show at this point. So you really pulled it off and got Empress Yin's approval. Hmm. Guess you'll be traipsing through my office soon. Look, you can see the Blades classified files, but nothing else. But Connie will be keeping an eye on you. Got it? Uh, I will? Ugh, so much for reasonable work hours. I'll go to Rama's office first.
Blue forms in the green folder? Green folder? Akane, right? Folder? Detective Rama gave me permission to be here. Okay, yeah, that's totally interesting. I'm gonna dig through your archives. In the back, knock yourself out. Ooh, I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Let's see. I think the one I want is back here somewhere. Ugh, are you doing something gross back there? Skull, huh? The Aether Blades must be marking their territory. Got what I needed, I think. Thanks for your help, Akane. Mm. Hey, bye. Hey, Commander. You should probably head to the crash site soon. Gorik's getting a bit restless. Between us, I think he's taking the Anka situation pretty hard. She did betray his trust, and kidnap him. Just gives us more incentive to track her down. Ah, still, I hate seeing him like this. Figured I'd let him blow off steam. Listen, if he feels like talking. About Anka, anyway. Can't follow his science rants for the life of me. You're a good friend, Jory. We'll make sure she gets what's coming to her. Thanks to our busy friends at the Ministry of Security, we won't have any extra help. But I'm sure we'll manage. We'll start looking around up front here. Commander, why don't you check out the wreckage? We can sink after. If I so much as smell one of those aerial degenerates, I'm showing no mercy. And neither should you, Commander. I don't quite remember how to get to all of these. So Scarlet got this plan. Join up with the inquest. Get me on the captain's council. It's big. I was worried about working for someone else. I never took orders well. Scarlet. She knows what she wants. Knows how to get it. No fear, no hesitation. It makes sense. You want to shake the foundations of the world? You can't be scared of falling rubble. Line. 
Fine. Hull's compromised. Missing about a hundred unique parts, and that's just us. Other ships in the fleet are just as bad. Captain! Captain! Scarlet's dead. And the commando... Killed her, I know. I don't care. Captain, pull yourself together. The crew can't see you like this. Scarlet was supposed to... Captain, you have maybe ten seconds before the crew sees you like this and loses all respect for you. We're trapped in the mists, and they need a leader. So... Lead. You're right. Organize the crew. We start working to fix this right now. know where you're going with this, and the answer is no. We have no other choice. How else do we get the part? Mm -hmm. How? Uh, what you're saying is, we travel through the fractals in the mists, find our past selves, and steal from them? That's not possible. And even if it were, wouldn't we just be screwing up our own pasts? <laughs> They're fractals. Echoes of pure potentiality. Our own pasts are secure. We'd just be exploring the alternative. Fractals are inherently unstable. We can't waltz around the mists wherever we please, like it's uh, South Sun Cove. We would have to travel to dozens of fractals. Stable fractals. Hundreds for the right parts. Depends how far back we go, what versions of our ships we're plundering. And you're okay with this? Fighting, maybe killing yourselves hundreds of times over? I ask again, how else do we get the part? Hey, Jory. I found a few recordings, but no leads. Who knew pirates had so much drama? Tell me about it. Just keep looking. Think we might be on to something. Gorick, calm down. I'll call you back. I'm probably gonna have to fight some pirates. Kill rising! Everyone all right? Stand off! One ship unaccounted for. Was that Kralkatoric in the mists? What an elder dragon doing in the mist? Huh? What's been going on out here? And where the hell are we? I'm checking. If that's Alona, that's the stone. Cantha. Cantha? No. Ivan? You said we'd come out over the crystal desert. I was performing very complex calculations while also being chased by an elder dragon. So cut me some slack! Calm down, everyone. Anka, Ivan, see if you can get in touch with the other ships. 
Radiac, gather our supplies. Guess we're about to find out how Panther's changed in the last 200 years. Face. I'm not insinuating anything. Even an obsequious brown nosing bootlicker like Ivan must have noticed how much time the captain's been spending among the campus. She's in it. What do you call it? Uh, casing the place. But the crew's getting restless. We should be ransacking the locals. Dare I say, even committing a little bit of piracy? Instead, we're hiding in these ruins up to our ears in seawater and hungry risen. We're not hiding. We're strategizing. You want to pillage the most technologically advanced civilization on Tyria without a plan? The captain's got a connection in Cantha. That's our inn. We do a couple of jobs for this Canton, earn some trust, and then we make our move. <laughs> To kill rising. Explain this to me again. She needs a kind of dragon expert. She has every possible resource in Campa at her disposal. Why does she need us to find her a dragon expert? Apparently, they're in short supply, so she needs us to import one. Mm, a dragon, I think. Yeah. I was thinking you could go to Radisson, maybe ask... I know someone. What? I know someone. I think they'd be willing to come? No question. I know exactly what he wants to hear. Commander. Need you ASAP. We may have just found our lead. I'll take that. Hey, know how long it took to find that thing? I'm gonna see if I can find the other two logs. It's to kill rising. holding this gun, I can already tell you, you'll never hit what you're aiming at. I know the sight's off because I'm having trouble shooting things. That's obvious. My question is, can you fix it? Maybe. Depends. Renyak, this doesn't have to be tedious. The others. <laughs> what do they say about me? Mm, I don't know. Get your insecure. Um, Ex-slavers like you don't get by on personality. You want to succeed in the Age of Blades? Get results. All right. How? At this very moment, you can start by fixing my gun. Let's have some fun! Huh. Uh. 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 
one becomes two. Think I'm scared of you? Some little rat thing with pointy hands? Well, hello, Commander. Say, didn't you just beat this gentleman's you friends to a, a good man down. Yeah. Looks like I forgot one. We found him roaming around out here. Seems he was piecing this together. I recall Blish using similar components in his portal research. Appears to be a tool for mistraversal. Shame if we accidentally dropped it off a scenic overlook. And I hear the mists are lovely this time of year, too. Careful with that. We need... Fine. What do you want? Make it quick. Unka cited a professional interest in Elder Dragon research, namely Aureen. Care to elaborate? You're asking the wrong guy. Anka does the dragon stuff. And maybe my train? Who knows anymore? Sounds a bit uncertain. <laughs> Cause it doesn't matter. There's better things coming. Big plans. The Jade Winds are a-changing. Care to elaborate on these big plans, Air Fiend? <sighs> Rude to my associate and off-topic. Commander. Would you teach this bozo some manners? Uh, okay, okay. I don't know what the plans are. Just heard some higher-ups mention it. Look, I fix stuff, clean the galley, might run a few errands. Nobody's telling me nothing. Gods, we're beating up the maintenance guy? This isn't helping anything. Uh, let him go. Can you just give it back? Yeah! Korik! Damn it! What'd you do that for, you little dweeb? Seems to have gotten stuck in these pointy hands. I could probably repair it quite easily, but I have work to do. Commander, I'm at Aureen's cave. You need to get over here. Like, right now! I'm on my way. I guess we got a lead out of him. A little cryptic, but... I can work with it. I've never felt so alive! Now I know how the mantis feels as it closes in on its prey. Take it easy, tough guy. That was pretty badass. But there is a certain finesse to this job. We'll practice. You can try being good cop next time. Me, you're here. What's going on, Tiny? I don't know. Orin and Kate, they're... They're fine. June, what are you doing here? I told you my jade tech can help your dragon. So that's what I'm doing. Helping. We were talking to Orin when she went quiet all of a sudden. It's like she's sleeping. But not. I thought it could be a concussion from the fall, but then Kate... Uh, she fell silent, too, while still standing. I don't know if she's being affected because of their connection, or what. All my tests show Aurene's magic levels are steadily improving. Perhaps the extractor caused lingering... Hello? Hello? Commander? Hello? Over here. Over here. Kate? Where are, Where are we? Shh. They're talking. They're not just mortals. They're my friends. They're your flock. The shepherd watches and protects, but she does so in solitude. When I created the others, I thought 
I don't have to be alone anymore. <sighs> the other Elder Dragons? You're there. Hmm. I was imperfect, you see. Attuned to water, but not the other elements. I thought my children would bring balance and harmony to the fabric of magic, but... Then, what happens now, Suan? Now, you take my place, little one. Consider what I've said. Looks like they're coming around. Oh, good. I thought it was contagious. What just happened? That was the first Elder Dragon, the mother of all dragons. Isn't that right, Aurene? Kralkatorix, mother. My great-grandmother. What? what? We'd spoken before, a few times. I didn't know who she was until we came here. What does she want? For me, to take her place. Take her place? And become the one... Elder Dragon. The last Elder Dragon who wanted something from you was Jormag. And we know how that turned out. Su Wan isn't Jormag. Can we be sure? You can. Su Wan's been Kantha's guardian since the Zaitan disaster. Or so goes the legend. I need some time to think about this. In of the course. meantime, we still have to find the Aether Blades. And whatever that extractor thing is, how did they get their hands on something capable of doing this? Anka was a brilliant machinist, and that weapon was a Sura made, but the technology is beyond even the inquest. That's because it's Canthan. I gave it to my Trin. You hired them, didn't you? I did. You? You hired them? This is all because of- I didn't know what they were capable of, or their history in Tyria. If I did, I never would have- I'm sure you have questions. Ask me anything. She was working for me. She's got Canthan ancestry, so she could walk among us. My guards caught her snooping around one of my power plants. She'd hacked my security system. I could have made her disappear. No one knew who she was, after all. But I was impressed at her resourcefulness. So I told her to come work for me. I need people who can find my blind spots. And I took a liking to her. She became my protege. Bit of a slow learner, but she worked her ass off. Whenever I tried explaining Jade Thama dynamics, she struggled. But somehow, she always figured it out. I could never put my finger on it. That woman was haunted by something. Maybe all the people she killed at Lion's Arch. Maybe. I needed dragon research. As you're acutely aware, the dragon cycle threatens us all. And it turns out the best dragon researchers exist outside of Cantha. Mm-hmm. She's got a point there. The Aether Blades could go where I couldn't. That's why I needed Mai and her crew. I never asked them to kidnap anyone. I wanted to import talented researchers with their consent. Apparently, they came out of the mists. They were lucky to have landed in the ruins of Old Kaining and not... Well, you saw what happened when you dropped in on Xingjie. I suppose it began with the Zaitan disaster. The massive tidal wave of undead that came crashing to our shores. Worst calamity since the Jade Wind. Even a hundred years later, with all our advances, we still feel the effects. Well, Su Wan is the hero of that story. Rising from the depths, turning back the waters and the dead. Poetic stuff. People say she formed a pact with Kunavang to protect Kantha. Salt spray dragon, local, hero in her own right. But, aside from a few rumors here and there, they've hardly been seen since. For Su Wan to reach out to Orin so soon after her arrival, well, 
It's certainly a fascinating development. June, the Aetherblades are planning something big. We need to track down Mitrin before it's too late. I only spoke with Mai, and usually on my turf. They have a number of hideouts across Kantha. In Xingzhe, I'd expect her to be hiding somewhere in Zendai Jun. A cave, if I know her. My sources tell me the Ministry of Security's been looking for her, but somehow she's avoided detection. The Blades are a sneaky bunch, but we've got experience with their bag of tricks. Okay then. Marjorie, Gorik, let's finish this investigation. Let me know when you find my Trin, Commander.